has has a box. It's already been open, but the reason why is because it's really difficult with one hand. So, no knife though. Not as stubborn as the last one. So that's a plus. A plus. Just paper. Oh boy. You know, I don't see much figures get wrapped with giant ass bubble wrap. That would have been like tiny bubble wrap, but oh well. Huh. I feel tape. <clears throat> okay. This tape was stubborn. Very stubborn. So. Yeah. Okay. It's getting close. I did well on the wrap. Okay. Oh boy. No one knows what it is. Nobody knows. Mark Megalon. This is the Bandai variant from 1992. This did not come with a header card nor a baggie, so this came loose. Also, the Bandai bookmarks didn't come with a baggie or anything. It actually just came with a, a tag that hangs around the arm. But this didn't come with a tag. But that's okay. Tell that it's made by Bandai because it's got the little tag or sticker underneath his foot. Full focus about it. Come on. There we go. Bandai 1992 Japan. Yeah, you didn't know that Bandai re releases Bulmar figures back in the day because they were in business back in the 90s until like early 2000s. That's when they got back in business. Maybe not early 2000s, like. 2010s or so, maybe 2009. I don't know, but somewhere around there. Because that guy came out via M1, but that came out in 2001. The Bullmark R slash Melrosan Glowy Godzilla. That is also the King Goji, but that was based by the Aurora Model Kit. But yeah, this is oh boy. On the uh, big Megalon vinyl instead of that little gashapon that I got a few years back. Jesus Christ. Whew. Got this guy for like. Eighty dollars used to cost ninety nine. Made an offer, and it went down to eighty. The lowest that the guy will go. So, this is worth it. Very worth it. Holy Jesus! Oh. This is absolutely vintage, but not too vintage because this is not the OG Bullmark release. Uh-uh. No, sir, it ain't. Because this is not the original color scheme. But that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, I got Sokokeki Goji. SH Monster Arts recently. 
not too recently, a couple months ago, December, late December, yeah. Oh, I'm not too keen to test H Monster Arts as much as I used to be back then, but, eh, it's just one of those figures that, like, ugh, I want him because he looks really good. Screw the NECA, because NECA sucks. Sue me, but that's how I feel about it. And the NECA King Goji, he's pretty damn okay. I like him. He blows every single other NECA figure out of the water, and... I like him. I like him lots. Because he actually looks like a King Goji. The tail articulation is pretty good. Not too good in like SH Monster Wars, but it's good enough. Right? Right. But enough about that. I don't think I've got anything else to say about the Bullmark Megalon. Besides that he's a Ben Ivory release. And condition is okay few paint scuffs on the feet, but that's okay. That's to be expected from a figure from the 90s. Still loose. And, yeah, I didn't notice this scuff mark on the back of the figure in one of the photos that the collector showed. So, at least I noticed that, but I'm like, uh, I don't care. This figure came from the 90s. Whatever. Not really the 90s, but you, like, come on now. You know what I mean, right? Right? <clears throat> it's like that guy. Him. He's old mode, but they still get renewed and shit, right? Pretty much, I think. That's how it works. I've seen a few videos about how Bullmark figures were made, so they probably keep a few modes out in the back. Keep him for whenever they need to make a new one or so. I don't know. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse the dogs, bud. I think this guy was hand spray painted or dry brushed or however they do it because I've seen that this is self factory. So really they just spray paint it everywhere and they do it so nicely though. Ooh. I probably would not get the Bandai because the Bandai looks a little bit lesser. I love my Bandais, but that's not a figure that I would go after. If I had a 1 Mega on in my collection, it would probably either be the X Plus or it would be a Soft Ubi, aka the Bullmark. But there's also the Marmot, and I love the Marmot. The Marmot's good. I love the Marmot. Marmot's good. Mm hmm. Yeah. And. <sighs> Do I want a complete collection? Yes, but except Bullmark doesn't have a 1973 Godzilla around. I don't know about Marusan, but they might. Because I know that Marusan makes other different types of Godzillas. While well, Bullmark has this... Therapy looking Godzilla. That third face nugget over there. Yeah, I got a few other boom marks, Akura boom marks, as well. But okay, let me get that nine of out of the way. Blades out. That's really sharp. Even though the tip ain't pointy, but still the blades are very sharp. I'm not uh, exaggerating. It's actually pretty goddamn sharp. So I wouldn't lay my finger on it. But still. I mean, I know there's a little more Gigan. I don't know if I'll be able to get that. If I can ever find one for a good price. Uh, Jet Jaguar. Same with Jet Jaguar. I only have a plushie of Jet Jaguar, but uh, I know there's a Bullmark Jet Jaguar that can probably go well with this, along with the Gigan. Even though it's probably most likely not from 1973, but still. It's almost like how most people kind of compare their Bandai Gigans. Like, if you have that for example the Bandai creation sky again i don't know why i bought them but i bought them for monster island buddies purposes but eh, whatever i don't collect those anymore including the new figures from walmart I'm like no i'm not getting them i already have them so yeah yeah the paint job is really nice really nice for the variant that it is and the sculpt for the time this actually this mold came out in 1973 so, the mold for the time is really spot on, and I don't know how they got it spot on. Well, 
maybe besides the tannins not being a little bit over long, but it's okay though. It's not too bad, but it's just a hey, at least it's got the antennas right, right? Like the Bandai one, like the actual Bandai, the I think a six inch, maybe six, maybe eight. I forgot because I don't have it, but like his was like shorter than the Bullmarks. It's like nub, it's just a little nub. But that's okay. I'm not dissing the boom. Uh, the, the the Bandai. Nah, I'm not dissing it at all. I mean, it looks good, but it's just not in my preferred taste. Because I like boom marks and soft ubies, so yeah, fight me. So I. Okay, my video got cut short. Don't know why, but it just got cut short for some odd reason. Okay, so. Yeah, this figure is a really nice figure. The mold's really nice. The detail is nice. The paint is nice. Because this is how Bullmark paints their figures, pretty much. It doesn't have to be absolutely accurate or anything. But I don't care about that. I just love how it was made, and how it was sculpted, and how it was painted. So, yeah. Pretty much, I'm just going to ramble from here on out. So, this is pretty much all I have for right now. And if I get anything new that's pretty much really interesting, or anything that I feel like making a video on, then I might make a video on it. Because my videos can be pretty iffy when certain things come in the mail and such. Like, for instance, I had two other X Plus figures come in. The 1984 Godzilla and the 1993 Mecha Godzilla. I don't count them as Mecha Godzilla 2 because that's the real Mecha Godzilla 2 from 1975. Even says so on his arm. So, don't, don't argue me about that. Mm -mm, no, please don't. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for right now, and I'll see you guys in the next video.